thought, sorry, and then it stops, right? But then, when it's just a thought, what happens to the thought? It goes away, doesn't it? Yeah. You just go, poof. Because you, what you now realize is that what you actually were holding in experience, what was actually occurring was what? A thought. It's just a thought. It's just what is a thought? Phenomenon. Is, is it something outside of inside. your mind? Is it something, I don't want to say outside, is it something other than your mind? No. 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 It's only your mind. Yeah. What is grief? It's in your mind. And when it's not used in and out? Outer appearance mind. Is it something, so there's mind and then there's appearance, like it's a thing in? <laughs> your mind is different than the green? No. Your mind is the green, right? Right. It's all mine. That is, that is, this is, that's, what is that? Mine. It's, yeah, I mean, but. It's a perception. I mean, so these are, all of that is mine, you know. <laughs> what is it? What's the same about all of those things? They all come and go. Yes, that's very good. They all come and go. Right on the money. But so what does that mean, they all come and go? The mind continuously generates. Yeah, they're all being generated continuously. Yes, yes. What else? What is that? They all come and go. They're impermanent. What does that mean about mind? Is mind impermanent? How do you They all arise in the continuity of awareness. Yeah. So what's that mean about so is the awareness of green the same as the awareness of this? No. No. It's not? Just so they're not both experienced then. <laughs> I thought we just settled that they were all mine. <laughs> what happened to that idea? Fluctuation of the mind. Fluctuation. Yes, so what does that mean about mind? Well it reflects what's in front of it. Well the mind fluctuates too. Well well. Yeah, it's responsive. We don't have to say in front, because of course one of the claims here is that there's going to be some kind of source. There's a causal source. This is going to be a distraction, but I will say it, because I think everyone wants to talk about this idea. There is going to be a sort of causal source for all of this stuff. But basically this level of philosophy is going to reject a, a gross notion of matter. The causal source is going to be some what's called the receptacular consciousness, a kind of fundamental, subtle level of consciousness that is constantly seeded with experiences, and we're doing it to each other, intersubjectively all the time. So yes, it's responsive to like causes. It's impermanent. There's change. Is the mind really green? Is that the nature of the mind? No. 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 Is, the, is, is that the nature of the mind? No. What's that mean about the mind? Mind functions in relation. Yeah. No. Oh. Maybe. Oh. What? Oh. God. I don't know. I'm asking you. No. <laughs> what it means is that it is empty of any of those particular contents. That's a special way of using the word empty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of those contents are intrinsically what the mind is. It's empty and it, it's empty and unobstructed, maga. It can appear as anything. And yet none of those things constrain the mind to be that thing. So that's one of the fundamental features of mind, of experience. Mm -hmm. It's empty. It is not fixed by any of these contents. None of this makes it. None of this traps it. And what's the other feature? That's the, what's the same about all of these? There's another feature we can talk about. There are a few others, but there's one other very important feature. Codependent arising. Codependent arising. <laughs> what is that? Well, you need to have that actually the mind. Yes, yes. I suppose so. Luminosity. 
Okay, now, well, now, okay, you're you're cheating, Adam. <laughs> but yes, you were right, of course. What is it? What does that mean? Some kind of awareness that uh, allows um, um, like perception to happen in this empty yes. phenomenon. Right? The word allows is right on the money, as far as I understand. So there's going to be a term, it's actually a very old term, it occurs in some of the earliest texts, Prabhaswara in Sanskrit, Selva in Tibetan. Prabhaswara, P-R-A-B-H-A, with a bar over it, S-V-A-R-A. So Dharma Kirti, who actually kind of plays, uh, switch hits, he... And we talked talk about some of his cognitive theory at the so-called Sautrantika level. He also is someone who really promotes this idea, although you found it throughout Yoga Chara. But he says, Pravasara midam chittam prakritya agantavoye mamalaha. The nature of this mind is luminosity. The defilements are just accidental. They're not intrinsic to the mind. 